This is what sub-zero temperatures look like. Currently experience about a, a negative 30 degree wind chill. And if you rely on your ATV to get you on the ice, to do some ice fishing like I do, the last place you want to be is stranded miles out on a lake with an ATV that doesn't start. I'm going to show you a secret little tip that will help you get that thing started every time. My name is Randy. You're watching Go Midwest Freezing. I mean fishing. Alright, what I got here is a 2006 Honda Foreman 500. And over here is my 2000 Honda Fortrax 300. Now, a quick disclaimer, I know this trick works on Hondas. If you own a different brand, uh, you can check to see if it works with them, but uh, I know it works with the Hondas. Alright, let's start with the, uh, the Honda Foreman. This is the one I use the most. I haven't ran it in over a week. It's been just sitting in the sub-zero temperatures. I'm going to try to just start it the normal way. Pull the choke on, start button. Yeah, it probably won't start. So, I'll show you where that secret button is. On the Honda Foreman, you actually have to remove this plate right here. You need a bare hand. If you reach way in here, I'll try to get a close up on it so you can see it better. There's a little plunger, about the size of your thumb, and if you push on that about three to five times. One, two, three, four, five. Try that. Now we'll try to start it. What did I tell you? Starts right up. All right, let's move over to the Honda 300. All right, this one's a little tricky. The choke is on the handlebar right here, and it broke off probably about 10 years ago. So I cannot choke this four-wheeler. So if I don't use this trick, it absolutely won't start. So all I can do is turn the key on. Nothing. Now with this one, that little button is on the opposite side of the four-wheeler, but there's no shroud here to hide it. So I can just reach right in right there give it a few pumps try it again so this thing hasn't ran in probably two months I need a couple more pumps like I said it has no choke and I, I rarely drive this in the winter so I think I started it once in December just to move it it is now uh, February And it's a little difficult not having a choke on this thing, but if I keep pumping that primer, so it takes a little bit to warm up, but you can see it does fire up. So I want to give you a little better idea exactly where this button is. So I'll get my phone out here and see if I can't get a nice close-up image of it down there. So start recording. All right, here it is. So if we get right in here. There, it's a nice good view of the button. See if I can get my hand in there. It's that button right there. This looks like a little plunger. You just push it in. I usually do about three to five times works. And let's go over to the Honda 300. This one's a little more open. See in there. There it is. Good shot of the button right there. Good side view of it. And that's all it is. Just primes it with a little bit of fuel and lets it get started. So I really wanted to bring this up because I have not met anyone yet that actually knows that little button exists. And if you own a Honda four-wheeler, this can be a lifesaver, especially in this cold weather. You're stuck out on a lake. I mean, it can be a dangerous situation to be out there and not be able to get back home. So I hope this tip was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.